As a music promoter, I searched the area looking for undiscovered local talent. And now it's time to take a look at one of our up-and-coming bands on Rick's Rising Stars. thing about our band is I think what really develops the chemistry is that we've been best friends since high school and sometimes it, it, it's awesome because you could see it on stage there's no fake you know like playing around it's, it's all real but at the same time uh, it gets us in trouble so Andrew played guitar Bobby played the drums, and I, I was in band, I played the trumpet. Andrew came up to me one day and was like, hey, John, you should buy a bass, we should start a band. And I think he was kidding. I was totally messing with him. <laughs> but the next day, I did. I went out and bought a bass, and I think like I, I called him, I was like, dude, I bought a bass. He was like, really? Here we go. absolutely important like to you know have the energy be putting on a good show you know you're up there and you're just you're feeling the music and you really want to like telegraph that out you want people to see how much you're enjoying yourself because like that's that's why we do it because we love it Brendan O'Hare is our singer my name is Andrew and on the trombone we got Mr. Matty going let's go We had always talked about maybe having me, you know, come in and play a few things, and then uh, they were recording a new album, and like, hey Matt, do you want to jump in on a track for trombone? I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. And so I went into the studio and uh, I recorded a track with them, and then they're like, you want to come to a show and play the, the song? I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. And then it turned into every show with that one song, and then they're like, well, you play keys and you could sing. Do you want to throw some keys? And so it just kind of kept building and building and building. There's this connotation a lot of times that bands get their energy from the audience, but with these guys, I feel like it's it's kind of the opposite. I feel like we're like lithium batteries that are always charged and ready to go, and like the audience has no clue what's coming. <laughs> Offshore Regulars is its own genre. We have funk, we have reggae, we have rock, we have rap in some of our songs. Like, we literally take every influence from modern day, past history, anything that we might think would be awesome in the future, and we just incorporate it all. Oh, yes, and Maria, the way you shimmy me in that mirror, it makes my look grow up a clear. I want it. Oh, yeah, Maria. I guess Maria is about a girl. <laughs> we don't we don't know who she is, but it's about her. Um, yeah, mostly it's all about having a good time and beach oriented always. How did you even get in here? How did you even get in here? I, I don't know. We were like we went through a few band names. Like uh, high school, we were like blissfully ignorant. <laughs> then we went to like Shake Machine closes at twelve fifty and all this other crazy stuff that we really couldn't like put our thumb on it. But then we just kind of looked around and like he said, we're all kind of in one way or another beach oriented or ocean oriented. Like we surf. He just grew, grew up on the beach. He's always the beach. he's an oyster farmer. So like offshore regulars seem to fit. It's eighty five degrees. With an offshore breeze. We got the drinks, we got the eyes, who was a surfer's paradise. We put out an EP last year, uh, we put out a couple singles. Um, yeah, the Heathens EP, check it out on iTunes, it's awesome. We got a website, theoffshoreregulars.com, we're on Facebook, Offshore Regulars, search for it, you'll find us. Yeah, we're everywhere. Am I drowning my own bed? Just don't forget a word I say.